this edition of CM Tools Masterclass. This time we're going to create an LFO wobble base using the LFO section within the Bazil CM plugin. Begin by loading up an instance of the Bazil CM in your favoured door, and then the first thing we need to do is perform an initialize, which we do by going to the top of the plugin window, clicking in the display area, and coming down to the word init at the bottom. When we select this, we should initialize the plugin and hear a sound like this. Apart from hearing a defaulted sine wave, we're also hearing a delay line. So move down to the bottom right hand corner of the plugin and turn off the delay section. We'll start creating our sound using oscillator number one on the left hand side of the plugin window. If you come halfway down the oscillator one section, you'll see P and D for phase distortion. Turn up the pot, which is to the right of the letters PD, to a value of 25. Just as a little reminder, if you're new to using this plugin, any time you make an alteration to a pot or a setting, you can see a numeric value displayed in the display at the very top. Directly below the phase distortion pot, we can see that we have two waveforms selected. The first one says saw, and the second one is a duplicate. But we want to click and hold on that drop down that's below there and select two pulse. This should then give us a sound like this. Let's now create a little bit of movement in the sound using Envelope 2 to modulate the phase distortion element of Oscillator 1. Move across to Envelope 2 on the far right hand side of the plugin and where you can see the red patch point, click and hold and drag a cable all the way over to the phase distortion section. If you release it below the phase distortion modulation pot, it should become attached. We then need to apply a modulation amount and we're going to set a value of 62. Our patch should now sound like this. Because we're dealing with the defaulted sound, the oscillator is going directly into the output amplifier section. We need to send it via the filter. So visit the output 1 section, labelled out 1, and where you can see a cable, click and hold on the end of that so that you pick it up and replace it into the input of the filter section. This now means that oscillator 1 is going into the filter, but there is now no output from the filter to the amplifier section. Move to the far right hand side of the filter section, and we want to use the low pass 6dB filter type. We pick up a patch cable and drag it into the output. Next we can turn our attention to oscillator number 2, where we're going to perform some very similar setting alterations. First of all, go to the now familiar phase distortion pot, and set that pot to a value of 52. We're then going to change both the primary and secondary waveforms that we have in oscillator 2, setting the first one to a square and then setting the second one to two pulse. We won't actually hear those alterations just yet because we haven't plugged in the output from the oscillator yet. But before we do that, let's alter the tuning of oscillator 2. Move to the very top of the oscillator 2 section where it says tune and change that pot to a value of 19. This means that oscillator 2 is going to play an octave and a perfect fifth higher than oscillator 1. Now we can move to the lower part of the oscillator where it says volume and we're going to decrease the volume pot to a value of 25. This means that oscillator 2 will be playing at half the volume of oscillator 1. Now we can take the output from the bottom of oscillator 2 and plug it into the second input on the filter section. These two signals will be summed together to head through the filter simultaneously. If we now play the sound, we should hear this. Now it's time to create the wobble in our wobble bass sound, and to do this we need to visit the LFO1 section, which is at the top left-hand corner of the plug-in window. Before we plug it in, we're going to make a couple of setting changes. First things first, we're going to go to the Rate drop-down menu and select a value of 8th note trip. This means triplets. As the LFO rate is automatically synchronized with your door, this means that we're getting an automatic triplet feel which is synchronized perfectly. Now move down the LFO section to the pot labeled delay and decrease the value of this pot to a value of 48. The delay pot has nothing to do with the type of effect called delay. It's actually an indication of how long it takes for the LFO to take effect. The higher the delay value, the longer it takes to creep in. However, the LFO currently isn't plugged in, so we need to plug it in to make it do something. Move to the bottom left-hand corner of the LFO section, and you'll see there is an icon relating to a triangle wave. 
take this output and drag it to the filter section and the first of the two modulation pots that relate to cutoff. Change the modulation value to a value of 40. We can also use envelope 2 to create a little bit of byte relating to our filter. So even though envelope 2 is being used elsewhere, we can create a second patch cord coming out of the same output, which we're going to also plug into the filter section. You'll notice we're going to the second modulation pot within the filter section, and we're going to set that pot to a value of 130. Now we can change the cutoff and resonance amounts. Change the cutoff to a value of 45. And then change the resonance to a value of 17. If we play our sound now, we should hear this. Still no sign of our wobble. And this is because we need to make some alterations to the ADSR elements of envelope 2. Set the attack phase to a value of 0, the decay phase to a value of 34, the sustain fader to a value of 0, and the release phase to a value of 17. One last thing that's particularly useful in this setting is that there is a snappy control which makes the envelope phases just a little bit quicker. If you now play your sound, you should hear this. So you can now hear that the wobble bass is now very much in play, but it takes a little while to emerge because of the delay setting. One final thing to mention is that a sound like this hugely benefits from having some distortion or saturation applied. We're using the Sound Toys Decapitator, which is a particular industry favourite for creating these kind of sounds, along with an LA2 style compressor, which is also particularly good at handling bass frequency instruments. <laughs> Thank you.